Oh, hey there. I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a game called Warbox. You know, it's the game where we simulate the year 2020. Yeah, this hasn't been going good so far, has it? Anyway, we're gonna not blow up Earth again, because you can only blow up Earth so many times before it doesn't get fun anymore. So, you know what? Let's just maybe destroy Earth a little bit. Yeah, just a, a little. Uh-huh. And then, yes, it's very satisfying. And then we'll delete half the life with the Infinity Coin. Ah. Uh. Isn't it beautiful? Please don't do this. People in power. That's not okay. Let's not do that anymore. Let's actually create a brand new world. Look at this. We can go large. Oh, confect a game in performance. Huge. Gigantic. Oh, tiny. Nope, let's do that. And maybe let's change the number of islands. Do we have small islands and random shapes? I don't even know what this means. I just like clicking buttons. Let's go to 820. And then we're going to drop the water level to 5. No, 10's the lowest. Never mind. What does that button do? Create. Oh, that's our world. It's so cute. Look at it. There's like a desert over here with desert-like things on it. We need we need something deserty. What's what's deserty? Probably sand spiders. Oh no! Oh, they make more sand. I forgot about that. <laughs> and we got this area over here. That's nice. That's quite nice. This area needs bees and a lot of bees. We're just gonna be it's gonna be sweet over here. Get it? Is there bees? I feel like we need to pause the game. Yeah. We're gonna pause it. So I'm gonna bust out the good old fashioned OP auto clicker, set it to repeat things 500 times, and then we're gonna start a spawning in civilizations. Humans will get to go in the bottom right and activate. Oh, yes. And I just realized that I put in 5,000 times instead of 500. Uh, whoops. I feel like I got a Thanos snap him out of existence a few hundred times. Actually, let's just hit him with a meteor. That'll be more exciting. I think I just killed them all. Perfect. Get rid of that. <laughs> we don't want too many people around here. And we'll do it again. No, you guys aren't allowed to escape. Not net yet. We're sp ah, I'm trying to make it so you live in a beautiful, nice environment. They just keep trying to leave me. Pause the game, please. Are you paused yet? No, you're not paused yet. How do I, how do I pause the game? There, paused. You're, why are you still not paused, you dumb game? Stop it. Pause. Okay. No. Why are they swimming in the game? Is it's paused. There. Finally, activate. How can a meteor strike when the game is paused and the water doesn't even come back? Are we paused again? No, no. I think we're paused. Activate. And then we'll put 500 elves over here. This is uh, this is also one of my favorite sounds ever. There's just something very satisfying about this. This is my ringtone, by the way. And then we'll add the brutish orcs and dwarves. So now that we have a world population of 2001, we need to start adding some some more things, kind of like the bees. Because I don't know if people can live with the bees, but I do know if I cover this island with bloodthirsty bears, um, people can't live there, which would be funny. And this bear's name is Bavam. Seems like a good enough name for one. He's got 200 attack. I didn't know they actually had stats. That's amazing. I feel like the zombies need them. This could be zombie island right next to bee island. Let's put in 20. There's also skelly bros. They're going to live here with this duck thing. But why do we have bavam and... Oh, is, what is this thing? It looks like a bug. It needs to... We need... Yeah, we need these things on here. A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, Blitz, it's not fair to these dudes because they won't be able to live on the sand. You're absolutely right. We need to delete some of the sand. Don't worry, you'll still have beautiful beachfront access, but they need some living area. You thought I was going to be a monster and not let anyone live. You're pretty much right, not going to lie. We'll put in some hills here too. Give it some plants. Even though you know what we should do is change the rules. <laughs> Peaceful monsters? No. But we don't want hunger because I want to kill them myself. And nobody gets to die of old age. We'll bless the rains down in Blitztopia. Oh, yes. Everything gets nicely shrubified. We'll even sprinkle some rocks and gold around the world for people to explore and live on. Even the zombies, they like rocks. And the bears. And the bears get gold. I feel like we need to make, like, a mountain range somewhere that has evil things on it. Like, whatever the demon, hellish creature <laughs> demon is. That makes sense. We should give him a volcano of lava, too. Beautiful. And it rains lava clouds. Yes. Oh, hey, wait, I let go. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. If I let go of the space bar and the world goes back into order and I actually change the world speed to times five, what happens? Oh, the game kind of crashes. <laughs> I like how the humans all spread out. 
And the elves are kind of like those ants that make a giant colony of like a raft that floats across the water. But watch as soon as they hit shore. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> oh, 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 that was amazing. And they instantly spread like locusts on the land. Oh, the, the dwarves are on my <laughs> The orcs have made it to Bear Island. Oh, they wiped out the bears. That's exciting. But they're spreading. Oh, my word. This is... This got way more chaotic than I thought it would. I really want to just turn on the village names and stuff. And the borders. There we go. Oh, yeah, we have Victoria. And then Emil... Oh, my word. They're already battling to the death. <laughs> they haven't even made houses yet. They're just trying to kill each other. That's amazing. You know what? I need to help. No, no, I got to hold back. I need to hold back. I need to see what happens. Oh, and the rest of the elves are all going to go... Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is not good. Look at the population just crashing. I have no idea who's going to win. Oh, my word. <laughs> so much for the elves. We didn't need them anyway. Oh, here. <laughs> the humans are like, no orcs. You are not allowed in our territory. And the humans also wiped out all of the skeletons and zombies. Okay, then. I feel like the humans might have a giant upper hand here. Or the orcs, because the orcs literally killed every single elf. Huh. And they took over their land. They're like, this is my land now. I am the captain now. What is happening up here? Oh, the dudes died, but we still have a volcano. And the dwarves don't like the orcs anymore, which is cool. Some of the orcs are just stuck up on the mountain. And the humans are here beating the snot out of the orcs too. I guess that's what happens when you get them mad. Oh, now we have an ocean battle. <laughs> the orcs and the hum or the orcs and the dwarves. They're just going at it. Guys, guys, you're whoa, whoa, who's that? Is this like the king? That's a chicken. No, what is this? I don't even know what this is. It's the king. Wow, Gorgor. He's the king of the dude land. He's a savage, ambitious, with regeneration skills. What? He also has one hit point and he just died. So he doesn't have much happening for him anymore. <laughs> there are just massive battles happening everywhere. Oh, the humans are ready to invade Bee Island. They just want that sweet honey. Oh, the orcs are... I put in way too many people. <laughs> What's our population at now? The world age is 27 years, 3 months, and already 1,800 of the 2,000 people I put in are dead. Yikes. I do like how the dwarves haven't even really made up houses yet. They just want Bee Island. Oh, they're trying to make this one. There is a boat. Who made a boat? Who's the... Who's the... Was that the... <laughs> the dwarves made a boat, and they're already attacking. What are they doing up here? You dudes trying to colonize the volcano? Oh, these humans are gone now. Did the dwarves just single-handedly wipe out everything? I feel that a good way to stop the invasion of the dwarves is to add in a whole lot of piranhas. <laughs> Did they eat the piranha? Did the piranhas eat the boats? <laughs> They're going for the boat. <laughs> That's amazing. It seems like the, the dwarves also like eating boats. That didn't make any sense. It seems like the dwarves also like eating piranhas because they're killing a lot of them. I can't even have fun by making the game have millions of piranhas. But if I pause the game and use my auto clicker, and after sitting here for seven minutes, I realized that I didn't turn on the repeat X amount of times, and it's just spawning a bunch of piranhas, which means that this piranha bomb is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Go! <laughs> Go, piranha bomb! Oh, they just destroyed the ship! Oh, that's amazing. Look at all the piranhas. It'd just be amazing if the piranhas could actually go on land. Oh, they're taking out the other ship. <laughs> now they're going after the fishing. Look at this guy. He's like, no, piranhas. And the game's just crying right now. Oh, they're eating all of the boats. <laughs> there they come. They're coming after the boat. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, no. They're being shot at. That's okay. We still have lots more. And they still eat every single ship that they can possibly get their hands on. The piranhas don't even have hands, but it seems as if the piranhas have done more damage to the humans than they did the dwarves. Hmm. If you look very closely, it looks like this tree is alive because it just keeps shooting things. I don't know how trees can shoot things, but I'm guessing there's probably a dwarf. Yep, there he was. <laughs> the dwarf that was killing all of the piranhas. And they're still trying to battle each other. Guys, like, you already killed 2,000 people. Just chill for a little bit. I feel like if I build them a nice fertile island here by the volcano, they might spread out and live in it. And then some of them might accidentally jump in it and fry. Here we go. Spread beautiful grass. Beautiful trees. Grow. Grow beautiful trees. And peacefully come back to life, elves. There we go. Why did you do that? Guys, you're supposed to be alive here. And you instantly went to attack the dwarves. You're so dumb. Okay. Elves are gone again. They deserved it. And the dwarves are like, what did we find up here? More land for us to explore. 
and then they exploded all and it wasn't very exciting anymore. But it does look like we were playing with that island the dwarves killed all of the humans. Which means to me they need to get to play with a tornado. <laughs> go dwarves, go! Aw, that's all the tornado was. They need three more. There you go. <laughs> Yay, tornadoes. I feel like I need to call in a plague. Maybe a plague of giant rats. And then we watch them spread out like crazy. Oh, oh no. I didn't realize the rats were going to be so dangerous. It's quite exciting, actually. <laughs> so what happens when you kill all the humans, you get a plague of rats. They're, uh, they're doing a lot better than I thought they would. Even though these dwarves are, like, heavily armored already because they have all of the natural resources on the map. Oh, the rats can cross the ocean. I didn't realize that. Oh, no. <laughs> they're going to eat the cities. And then the, the rest of the dwarves are like, oh, balls, we got rats. And then they killed them, and that was exciting. Oh, look, they spread out to my volcano island. Hopefully they don't light on fire. I mean, hopefully they do light on fire. How did a sheep get here? And guess what? The dwarves angered the trees of Bird Island, Bee Island, and then they just killed all of them. More trees. I feel like I can do this for days. Don't worry, there's still piranhas in the world too. The dwarves have a project. They are known for their brains and their terraforming skills. Oops, so I must give them more land. It's a really weird island that showed up over here. I think it says something like sub to blitz. I think that's what it says anyway. I didn't know dwarves could write human words. There, it's all green and beautiful. And then I nuked it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> kind of feel bad because there were there were like dwarves that were actually living there. Just kidding, I didn't feel bad at all. I think that guy's got radiation sickness. He's like, dude, I just lived through a nuke in a refrigerator. He doesn't even have refrigerators yet. There's burned pixels and runes. Do, 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 do. Beautiful. See how nice that is? Nothing's burned anymore. Oh, congratulations, Tenadum. You've done it. You've hit a population of over 100. You deserve something quite exciting. And congratulations, your houses are now alive. Aw. That really didn't do as much. Maybe you wanted a cold one instead. They just destroyed my cold one. And they grew stronger. Maybe they need 10 cold ones. <laughs> they didn't do anything. Man. Oh, his population's growing out of control. This is unacceptable. I'm surprised they haven't colonized this island yet, where they wiped out the elves. And the elves wipe, were wiped out by the, the orcs. And then the, the humans settled over here, and then the, the dwarves killed all of the humans too. I'm starting to see a theme of this. I'm really feeling like we need to repopulate part of this world with humans. They like the sub to Blitz Island. And I was smart enough to put in repeat 200 times, but I clicked the wrong button. So I have no idea how many humans are here. That should be enough. And close that, and activate. <laughs> Go human bros. Build up islands on the sub to blitz island. No, 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 no. Don't start wars already. Make your colony before you go kill all the dwarves. Just do. Ah, you're so dumb sometimes. You could have just stayed on your island and pretended like you weren't even here. But now you have to go alert the dwarven empire. And you got massacred. You're so dumb sometimes. Stupid humans. And then they're just running around aimlessly, getting massacred by the dwarves wearing amazing amounts of armor. And they don't even make their town. You guys are dumb. Here, do this. Make a town. Build a town, you dork. I honestly don't know why they didn't make... Why did they not make a town? Make a town. Make a town. Make a town, you dummies. No, you did it. Make a town. I'm trying to force humanity back into this world, and they're too dumb to know how to do it. Maybe they need sheep. Here. Oh, oh, they made a town. Hey, they made a town. They're so smart. They just needed a real island, not some to Blitz Island. Oh, I don't feel like this is going to go good for them. They've been getting busy. Like, really busy. But I don't think the Dwarven Empire is going to let them even survive, even for 10 seconds. And they've been massacred yet again. Okay, you've done it. You've made me, you made me do it. What kind of volcano would you like? Would you like a geyser, an acid vol geyser, or a regular volcano? Maybe we should start quick with the acid geyser right here where I spawned in the other things. How's that make you feel, you dorks? Huh? They're burning. <laughs> it makes me feel good. I want to sacrifice one in the acid just for fun. Oh, he didn't, he didn't scream. <laughs> but we've killed 80 of them already, so that's good. Blood rain. No. Blessing? No, they don't deserve blessings. We could curse them. Yes, let's curse all of the Dwarven Empire. Oh, I feel bad for them. Just kidding, I don't. And then we're going to start the plague with these ones. They're plagued now. I should start the plague over here, too. 
<laughs> now what are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do now? Just drive your little pretty boats around? Maybe we need a nanovirus too. I'm just gonna start a little nanovirus down here. Okay, I don't even know what it did. How about a tumor? Oh, grows on land. Can't put a tumor. There we go. Would you make a tumor already? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, I don't like that. Actually, I kind of do. It's exciting. It's like that game. What game was that that we played? Uh, with the little creep thing that I don't remember it. Carrion. That was the name. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I do need. Oh, whoa. <laughs> the play kind of annihilated everyone. And now they're having civil wars break out. Along with the. Okay, hold up. I killed too many of them. We need to bless them with the rains of Africa. Come on. Remove all the diseases. Remove it all. You guys will be blessed now. Give them the blessing. Everyone will be sprinkled down blessing juice on their faces. There. Okay. They still need to work around the geyser, though. I need to connect the land masses so the tumor can spread. I like how a few of them are going across this creep bridge. They're just kind of dying as they walk across the pink goop. I don't even know what they're going to do with it. The tree just got erased. Watch this one. He's going to go down. Oh, yep. Died. Wow. That stuff's weird. I like it. Oh. The creep just went and got that capital building of the city. They're trying to adventure out on it and it just keeps killing them. I feel like we need another one. Was it this one? Yeah, we definitely need another one down here. <laughs> oh, it's spreading way down here too. Oh, this is fun. There's currently only uh, 33 dwarves. Oh, 38, 39, 40, 50. Okay, they're living again. I kind of feel bad. This geyser volcano is really hampering them. It would be a shame if somebody hit it with a meteor. Uh-oh. The plague is spreading even further. I still see people with pink things over their head when they run. I'm not sure what that is. Let's find out. Oh. They have the plague. <laughs> you didn't wear a mask in public. You gotta do that, buddy. You gotta do that. I feel like I gotta give them the divine light again. We gotta remove the plague because it doesn't help out. This city has a population of zero. Ah, oh, now it's gone. Here we go. Everyone should be cleansed now. Blood rain, restore. We're just raining blood down. That's really awkward. Why are you guys trying to build a city over here in the pink goop? It'll never work for you. You know the squishy stuff when you walk on it and your legs start bleeding? You need to stop walking on that. It's not a good idea. What does this do? Spawns demons and shoots fireballs. That sounds fun. Let's make one right here. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, hot dang. That thing shoots fireballs like crazy. Oh, and all of this creep stuff burns. I didn't know that. Oh man. I was going to destroy the world with a plague. Instead, I guess I get to destroy the world using a giant line of lava, lava rain. Oh, there's only one of them. Come on, I need more. <laughs> lava rain. Goodbye, dwarves. Your time on Earth is finished along with everyone else. And they're going to live? Did they live? How did they live? How was there 55 of them? I, I literally rained lava on them. Oh, this is bad. I need to... How did they do that? And it killed all the plague. Oh, there's still plague. Huh. What else can I use? I mean, this thing's always fun, the heat ray. Because we can use it to spawn a volcano if we hold it down long enough. I'm burning water off. I'm literally burning the water right now. And then I think if I hit that with a lightning bolt... I mean, the lightning... Ba -ba -bow! Hey, <laughs> I made a lava splash. That's exciting. I like doing that. Uh-oh. Oh, didn't crash the game, unfortunately. But I think this might do the good idea of crashing the game. Yeah, just erasing all of humanity using, or everything, using the Sarbaba bombs. And I still didn't crash the games. Huh. Well, good news. The doors are dead. So keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank Ben, Alan Hagen, Dickie James, Otto Dave, Eagle Ark, Seraphin X, Desbogger, Maxer, Zarnoff, Noah Collingwood, Jason McFarland, Dagan, Paul Longstone, and Rao, as well as the rest of the Patreon supporters and everyone who has joined the channel as a YouTube member. 